Hello students, today that is 22nd May 2016 is the day of J Advance. So let's talk about the paper 1 of J Advance 2016. Let's start with the maths paper, paper 1, code 2. Starting with the question number 37, let theta lies in the open interval minus pi by 6 to minus pi by 12. Suppose alpha 1 and beta 1 are the roots of the equation x square minus 2x sec theta plus 1 equals 0 and alpha 2 and beta 2 are the roots of the equation x square plus 2x tan theta minus 1 equals 0, right? If alpha 1 is greater than beta 1 and alpha 2 is greater than beta 2, then we have to find the value for alpha 1 plus beta 2, 4 options are given. So let us talk about this question which appears pretty simple one. Two equations are given, the first one x square minus 2x sec theta plus 1 equals 0. We can simply find the roots of this equation as 2 sec theta plus minus root 4 sec square theta minus 4 divided by 2 giving me sec theta plus tan theta as well as sec theta minus tan theta. This is clear? Okay. Interval for theta it is given to me minus pi by 6 to minus pi by 12 that is in the fourth quadrant alpha 1 is greater than beta 1, right? So clearly we can see here that in the fourth quadrant sec theta is positive, tan theta is negative. So this quantity would be larger than this first one, right? So this is going to be alpha 1 and this term would be beta 1. Let us talk about the second equation that is x from there we will be getting alpha 2 and beta 2. From the equation x square plus 2x tan theta minus 1 equals 0, we can write minus 2 tan theta plus minus root 4 tan square theta plus 4 divided by 2 giving me minus tan theta plus sec theta and the other one minus tan theta minus sec theta, right? Now, since theta is in the fourth quadrant, so clearly sec theta is positive and tan theta is negative means this quantity would be larger than this one. Now, it is given to me that alpha 2 is greater than beta 2. So, clearly we can mention this term as alpha 2 while the rest one as beta 2. Now, the question is about alpha 1 plus beta 2. So adding this alpha 1 and beta 2, we can clearly see sec theta is cancelled. The answer obtained is minus 2 tan theta. From the given options, we can check option C is the correct one, right? Therefore, option C is the answer. So this part is clear starting with the simple question which was the question number 37. Let us move to the next one. Okay, let us talk about question number 38. A computer producing factory has only two plants T1 and T2. Plant T1 produces 20% and plant T2 produces 80% of the total produced, right? 7% of the computers produced in the factory turn out to be defective. It is known that probability that computer turns out to be defective given that it is produced in the plant T1 is 10 times probability computer turns out to be defective given that it is produced in plant T2, right? A computer produced in the factory is randomly selected and it does not turn out to be defective. Then the probability that it is produced in plant T2 
is we have to obtain the value so clearly the question from Bayes theorem not pretty difficult as of the length let's just start this one first we need to check out what we actually have to find we have to find the probability that it is produced in plant T2 probability in plant T2 given that it is not defective this will be equal to probability not defective from T2 into probability from T2 divided by the total probability that it is not defective right probability that it is from T2 that we can obtain from the fact that T2 produces 80 percent means it is 4 by 5 next we have to find probability it is not defective given that it is from T2 we will use the fact it is given to me probability it is defective while from T1 is 10 times probability it is defective while from T2 meaning probability it is defective from T1 is 10 times probability it is defective from T2 also known to me probability of being defective it is 7 by 100 right this is equal to probability from T1 into defective from T1 plus probability from T2 into defective from T2 right so we can substitute the values here from T1 meaning 1 by 5 defective from T1 it is known to me that it is 10 times defective from T2 so we can write here 10 times probability of being defective from T2 plus 4 by 5 probability of being defective from T2 so just simplify this thing to get being defective while produced by the machine T2 so clearly we can see this term as 10 by 5 plus 4 by 5 that is 14 by 5 of probability of being defective while produced by T2 equals 7 by 100 so this gives me 7 by 100 into 5 by 14 simplifying we can simply see it is cancelled by 2 it is cancelled by 20 it is 1 by 40 now coming back to the original formula we started with this one probability of being defective from T2 it is 1 by 40 so probability of not being defective it is 39 by 40 so substitute this value here we get the required result as 4 by 5 into 39 by 40 whole divided by probability of not being defective it is 93 by 100 so just simplify this fact this gives me 78 by 93 because I can see it is 200 cancelling 2 is left 2 cancels this one so 39 to the 78 divided by 93 so from the given options we can clearly choose option C is the correct answer so this is clear how we deal with this Bayes theorem problem so question was pretty lengthy but when we look at the solution part it is not at all difficult right moving to the next one 